going YouTube? My name is Blake Yarbrough and welcome back. Today we're in my living room because I've ordered a new desk. It's not here yet. So we're going to film this video out here in the living room. I'm excited to show you this shoe today, guys. To me, this is probably the most underrated sneaker release of 2022 so far. And I didn't feel that way until I got them in hand. We've got a giveaway in today's video as well, which I'll tell you about in just a minute. But let me show you the shoe that I'm talking about. It is the Nike Dunk Low Dover Street Market. here already released via Dover Street Market online as well as I think a few other retailers but it hasn't seen a sneakers drop here in the US and I'm giving away a pair of these so this one right here is my size I picked it up locally from Full Circle but I'm going to give away a size 10 a US 10 in the Dover Street Market Nike Dunk now this right here guys I love this sneaker I think this sneaker is super underrated right now based on the resale price these released for a retail price of 150 and they're currently sitting around $300 I think depending on where you're looking but and the size of course but these right now I think these are super underrated we're going to dive into these let me tell you about the giveaway all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel right here follow me on Instagram and then drop a like on these two posts that I'm gonna pop up on the screen that's all you have to do to enter the giveaway the winner will be picked in a month from today which should be around like April 5th so April 5th will be the giveaway winner selected and this shoe right here is one that I need to tell you guys about. I wanna show you all the details, show you on feet, show you how it looks, and then just get your opinion. I'm really curious how you guys feel. There's also a white pair. I'll go ahead and show you the box real quick though. You've got just the standard black Nike box. And then inside you've got just white paper. It does actually have a Nike logo like printed throughout the paper, the same Nike logo right here, but $150 is what these retail for. The colorway is just black, black, black. And again, like I said, there is a white pair and we'll just go ahead and show it out front like this. This is an all black Nike Dunk, but the details, even though it's all black, this shoe has a lot of details to unpack. And so we'll just start with the outsole. The outsole's a little lackluster. It's just all black outsole, very standard and then you move to the upper which is where you start to see immediately that this whole sneaker is covered in a velour or like a velvet type fabric it's very similar to like what's on the strange loves or what's on like the insole of the sean witherspoon air max you've got that super soft like velvet type texture to the fabric and it looks amazing in person like on feet if i show you guys i'm sure you can see it the color almost looks like it changes based on the way the light hits the sneaker. And I think that looks super sick. It's probably a little bit more apparent, I would think, on the black pair compared to the white pair. I feel like the white pair is probably just looks a little bit more white or almost like silvery. And this one looks, you can get like a dark hue of black at one angle and then almost like a reflective 3M type look, depending on how you're looking at the sneaker. I absolutely love the way it looks in the light. It just really catches your eye. Even though it's an all black sneaker, I think this one really stands out. My favorite feature, we'll just go ahead and show you my favorite feature, the mini swoosh on this toe panel right here. The mini swoosh is fantastic. I like a mini swoosh on just about any Nike sneaker that they put it on, whether it's like the Kith Air Force One, the mini swoosh looks amazing. On the Sean Witherspoon Air Maxes, amazing. I like it on Air Max Ones, and then also on the Nigel Sylvester Air Jordan Ones. I love the mini swoosh. Okay, so that is a huge selling point for me on this sneaker. For some people, they probably don't care, but I think if you were to remove the mini swoosh from the toe, the shoe's a lot more boring. And maybe it's a small detail, maybe I'm overhyping it a little bit, let me know in the comment section. But to me, the mini swoosh is 
just beautiful on this sneaker in particular. And let me show you another interesting detail and we'll move into like what this sneaker is. It starts with the heel. So on the heel, typically you would have Nike embroidered right here on the heel like you do on the left shoe. On the right shoe, you see DSM, which of course stands for Dover Street Market. Now what is Dover Street Market? It's a high-end fashion retailer. It was started by Ray Kawakubo of CDG. So if you've heard of CDG, then you know who she is. Her and her husband started Dover Street Market. And this is just a really great collab. I feel like it just ties into previous collabs that they've done before with Nike with an all black and an all white sneaker. So this one right here, very subtle details. You've got the Nike and the DSM there on the heel. And then I'll show you guys, you probably won't be able to see it very well, but on the inside of the heel right here, you can see some font, which typically might say like Nike sample. It's kind of like that font that it looks like, but it says Nike slash DSM for Dover Street Market. And then below that they have their location. So they have six locations, seven, I think they have a market as well. So at seven locations for Dover Street Market, London, Ginza, New York, Singapore, Beijing, and Los Angeles. So those are six locations. It's really cool that they printed it in there. I'm sure they'll open more locations as time progresses. But this one right here, guys, I think this is one of the most underrated sneaker releases of 2022. I'm going to... I don't want to rank it like so high. We're not even a third of the way into the year yet, but this is one that I am definitely going to make sure I keep in my collection. I just think that the way it looks in the light, I know you guys can see it on camera. This looks insane. It looks so cool to me, and I just think it's one that will hold up well over time as far as the appeal. Right now, there's not a lot of hype on them. There's not been a lot of press on them, to be honest, and that's probably because we haven't had like a stateside release of these, but the details the lace aglets or lace tips are actually black metal as well. I think that's always nice when they do that. The sock liner, I didn't mention this, the sock liner is black leather. And then the insole is actually a black leather insole as well. So they went a little bit above and beyond as far as the materials used on the sneaker. On the heel of this one right here, you can actually see the Dover Street Market logo. It's just a really nice sneaker. And to me, I feel like it deserves as much praise as it can get because this is one of my favorites. And so I'm looking to get the white pair as soon as possible. If you guys would like to see a review or comparison between the white and the black pair, I'd be more than happy to do a second video. Just let me know down in the comment section. But this is one that I think is super sick. I like it so much that I decided to give you guys a pair. So this pair is mine. I'm gonna be holding on to this one, but I am giving away a size 10. All you have to do is follow my YouTube or subscribe down below. Follow me on Instagram and like these two posts that I'll pop up on the screen one more time. But guys, this is one that I think you should check out. Prices right now are around $300 maybe. Probably get them under 300 if you find the right seller. But this is one, I just think the all black, it looks so crispy. What's up guys? Today's video is sponsored by Curology. Now what is Curology? Curology is a custom designed skincare routine by a licensed dermatologist. And what happened was Curology actually reached out to me at the end of 2021. They said, hey, we just want you to try some of our products. There's no obligation or anything like that. And so that's what I did. I actually tried them out and I've been using it now for the last four or five months. I was struggling with some dry patches on my skin. I've been using it now for the last several months and the custom routine has really helped clear up my face. The dry patches are gone. If you look back at some of my older videos, you can probably notice some redness and dry skin. That is completely gone thanks to Curology. It's also great at treating acne. You can get a custom formula designed for your skin specifically by just answering a few questions online, as well as sending in just a few pictures of your 
your face. You're able to speak directly with a dermatologist about your skin and help create that formula that will make your skin absolutely gorgeous. They offer a great variety of products as well, such as lip balm, body wash, as well as spot treatments. If you look good, you feel good. If you feel good, you might just hit on the next sneaker drop. But guys, if you want to try out Curology, you can actually try it out one month for free. Just pay $5 shipping and handling. The link will be down in the description. I appreciate you guys supporting me. If you want to try out Curology, I highly, highly recommend their products. Again, link is down in the description and shout out to Curology for sponsoring today's video. As far as sizing goes, I will say, I think that they fit a little snug and that's because there is some extra padding here around the ankle. It's a standard Nike Dunk Tongue. This isn't an SB. You've got a standard Nike Dunk Tongue, but I think the extra padding right here, it seems like it has more padding than a usual Nike Dunk does. And so I think that makes it fit just a little bit more snug. I still went true to size and they fit fine, but if you have a little bit larger foot, you might wanna go up a half size. If you have any Nike Dunks already, I'd probably just rock with that same Nike Dunk size. That's what I did and they fit perfect. As far as the wearability, I will say I think when you walk in these, they are going to crease across the toe. You could work on pre-creasing them if you've ever seen that done, where you kind of hold your fingers here and step in the sneaker. You can actually pre-crease Jordan 1s like that and it helps to basically define the crease line so that you don't get a weird crease as you walk in these. I do think though, over time, if you were to beat these, they're probably gonna look kind of bad, but I think if you just take good care of these, put some protectant on them, that will really help this shoe age very nicely. It's one that I'm super excited to wear. I did on feet for you guys, and I think it turned out really well. I love the way this shoe looks on foot, and it's one that I'm gonna be wearing probably as often as I can without destroying it too quickly. But again, guys, that is the Nike Dunk Low Dover Street Market Collab. Let me know what you guys think down below. I appreciate you watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like down below. And until then, we're on to the next sneaker.